20th July 2020 marks the 51st anniversary of the historic Apollo 11 moon landing. On July 16, 1969, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins lifted off from Launch Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Four days later, while Collins orbited the moon in the command module, Armstrong and Aldrin landed Apollo 11's lunar module on the Sea of Tranquility, becoming the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface. Even after 51 years of that historic giant leap, claims that some or all elements of the Apollo program and the associated moon landings were hoaxes staged by NASA is still circulating among people. So, in this video, we are debunking the claims of conspiracy theorists with the power of science. One of the most circulated claims is that there are no stars in any of the photos took by Apollo astronauts. Conspiracists contend that NASA chose not to put the stars into the photos because astronomers would have been able to use them to determine whether the photos were taken from the Earth or the Moon. The truth is, camera settings can turn a well-lit background to black when the foreground object is brightly lit, forcing the camera to increase shutter speed so that the foreground light does not wash out the image. But we still have photos from the Moon with stars in the sky. A special far ultraviolet camera was taken to the lunar surface on Apollo 16 and operated in the shadow of the Apollo lunar module, and it took photos of Earth and of many stars, some of which are dim in visible light but bright in the ultraviolet. Speaking about bright light from the sun, a claim that the angle and color of shadows of the astronauts and lunar module were inconsistent and that it suggests artificial lights were used can also be debunked using science. Shadows on the moon are complicated by reflected light, uneven ground, white angle lens distortion, and lunar dust. There are several light sources on the moon, the sun, sunlight reflected from the earth, sunlight reflected from the moon's surface, and sunlight reflected from the astronauts and the lunar module. Light from these sources is scattered by lunar dust in many directions, including into shadows, making the angle and color of shadows of astronauts looks inconsistent. Even the high quality of the photographs made people suspicious about the moon landing. The truth is that there are many poor quality photos taken by the Apollo astronauts. NASA chose to publish only the best examples. The Apollo astronauts used high-resolution Hasselblad 500 L cameras with Carl's Ice Optics and a 70mm medium format film magazine. People with knowledge in professional photography claimed that, in some photos, the crosshairs, which are often used to establish a geometrical basis for measuring objects in photographs, appear to be behind objects. Conspiracists often use this evidence to suggest that those objects were pasted over the photographs. But what they didn't realize while making this false claim is that this effect only appeared in the copied and scanned photos, not on originals. And it is caused by overexposure of the white objects over which the crosshairs appear. One of the most circulated claims regarding a photo is the appearance of alphabet C on one of the moon rocks and is claimed to be some sort of studio marking by the arts department of the studio that filmed moon landing. But the C-shaped objects are most likely printing imperfections. Also, it does not appear in the original film from the camera. It has been suggested that the C is a coiled hair. Some claim that the astronauts could not have survived the trip because of exposure to radiation from the Van Allen radiation belt. Van Allen radiation belt is a region of dangerous ionizing radiation surrounding Earth from an altitude of about 640 kilometers to 58,000 kilometers. But the NASA scientists who were aware of this risk shielded the astronauts from the ionizing radiation by providing thick aluminum hulls for the spacecraft. Moreover, the orbital transfer trajectory from Earth to the Moon through the belts was carefully chosen by the scientists to lessen radiation exposure. Fluttering of the American flag placed on the surface of the moon by the astronauts, despite there being no wind, was also an issue. But the flag was fastened to a seven-shaped rod so that it did not hang down. The flag only seemed to flutter when the astronauts were moving it into position. Without air drag, these movements caused the free corner of the flag to swing like a pendulum for some time. The flag was rippled because it had been folded during storage and the ripples could be mistaken for movement. 
Some noted that the footprints in the moon dust are unexpectedly well preserved, despite the lack of moisture. But, the truth is, the moon dust has not been weathered like Earth's sand and has sharp edges. This allows the dust particles to stick together and hold their shape in the vacuum. The astronauts likened it to talcum powder or wet sand. One of the mechanical issues raised by the conspiracy theorist is that the lunar modules made no blast craters or any sign of dust scatter on the lunar soil. In reality, no crater should be expected, as the 4,500 kg thrust descent propulsion system was throttled very far down during the final landing, making it impossible to create blast craters. The fact that the lunar modules weighed 15,000 kg and made no mark on the moon dust, yet, footprints of astronauts can be seen beside them, was a clever claim. Yes, the astronauts were much lighter than the lander, but, their boots were much smaller than the lander's footpads. Pressure, or force per unit area, rather than mass, determines the amount of regolith compression. Astronauts exerted more pressure on the moon dust compared to the lander, which only weighs 1,200 kilograms on the moon. Who filmed Neil Armstrong stepping onto the moon was one of the foolish claims from the conspiracy theorists. That's one small step for man. Because the exterior cameras on the lunar module did it, and someone with common sense can deduce it. The claims of the conspiracy theorists are endless, but this video is not. So, I will provide the links to the books and websites which debunks those claims in the description. Also, NASA is aiming at the moon again and is planning to land human on the lunar south pole by 2024 as a part of their Artemis mission. So, let's wait for history to repeat. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe our channel for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.